Hey guys, so I just got home from work. I was closing tonight and we still have shortened hours so I did my grocery shopping and everything and it's barely 8.30 so that's great news. Um, I had a gift card this week and I also bought a lot of things that I maybe would like to buy but don't normally buy because they're a little bit on the pricier side except for Ibotta. So I never thought I would become an Ibotta person because I was like, those are products I wouldn't typically use. Um, however, I had some really great deals plus my sales plus my discount. I'm actually going to be making money off of this grocery trip. So I'm excited to see what it is um, that I actually make from all of this. So let me show you what I've got and then um, I'll show you how I use Ibotta real quick. Um, and I think that there's a code that I can give to you guys that gives you $5 um, to kickstart your um, like cash back program that they do. Um, so basically, if you don't know, this is not sponsored by the way, but Ibotta is a coupon app that you can use and you can go through and redeem these coupons um, after you've shopped. So some people, like you can pay with Ibotta and get cash, like a percent back to your account, um, which I haven't tried yet, but you can also just use it. Um, like I got a bunch of yogurts and it was like, basically free after the offer. Plus my grocery store, um, this, some of the yogurts that I got are actually on sale. So I should still get the re full reimbursement of it. Um, but I only paid the sale price. So very excited. Let me show you what I got. So first of all, um, I bought some flowers for myself. Um, these are just some pretty orange, what are they called? Gladi, Gladi, Gladiolus flowers. They're like partially beginning to bloom. Um, I have a massive vase that goes above my fireplace that rhymed uh, and I've been wanting to put some flowers up in there so I bought some of these they were on sale for five dollars for ten stems which is a great deal um, on to literally the most yogurt I've ever bought in my life this whole bag basically is yogurt um, so I bought two brands. I bought So Delicious, um, which I do typically like their dairy-free ice cream, uh, not ice cream, um, yogurts. It's not my favorite favorite, but it is something that I generally enjoy. So I don't usually get chocolate. I only got one of this, and you will see I got a lot of them, so it's not going to be a big deal. Um, and they last, they're like good till like August of this year. So I'm not in a rush to eat them, but they'll be good to have for early morning shifts. Um, and yeah, so I got this one, so it was on sale for $1.50 each, and then with the app I get $1.99 back. So I'm making almost 50 cents per one of these that I got, and I got like 10, so I made like $5. And I got cash back for all of it, so it's basically, I made $5 to buy these. So. So I got chocolate of that flavor. Um, I got two of the key lime. I got a raspberry. These are all the coconut yogurts. I know. Um, raspberry, I'm gonna like sort it because I'm gonna sort it in my fridge also. Um, and the other brand that I bought, they split this in two bags, um, but is Wallaby Organic. So this is like an Australian brand. Um, most of the ones I got were the zero sugar added. They still have some sugar in it, but it's very small. This is the only flavor that I got that wasn't no sugar added but they're all all of these are gluten-free certified gluten-free so if you're celiac um these are good for you um but yeah so this will be good with um i have a coconut flour like coconut flour quick bread recipe um so it's really like high protein this is also high protein but it has like some carbs and I can eat it with or without fruit, um, which is what I'm going for here, the no sugar added one. This one I'm really excited for. It's a peach hibiscus flavor. Um, so that looks really yummy to me. Um, I've also got the vanilla chai. I've only got one of those. Cause I was like, chai could either go one of two ways. Another peach hibiscus. Um, Daniel drinks beer, so I bought him some Guinness cause he's been talking about that. Hopefully it's the right one. I normally don't drink beer. Um, and then, I'm gonna get to the bottom of the other yogurt. It's got two things of strawberries. These were on sale for a great deal, so we did that. Um, I also got some sweet potatoes. So I got two varieties of sweet potato this week. 
Um, I do have some still that I roasted. I had a bunch. These keep well in your pantry. Um, so that's why I like them. I'm going to make some sushi, some vegan sushi later this week um, or next week, depending. Um, so I bought regular, like, um, this is just like the orangey colored one. And then this is actually Japanese sweet potato. I've never seen them this small, but um, they're actually purple on the inside. Um, I think there's two varieties. There's one that's like white on the inside and one that's purple. The white one is like yellowy white, but it's pretty. Um, I also got two cucumbers. These were 79 cents each. Um, again, great for salad. You can also put these in smoothies or like um, a fun like summery drink if you like chunk them up and freeze them. That was a weird way to say that. Um, or again, like if I make the vegan sushi, cucumber sushi is one of my faves. There's that. I had a coupon for a dollar off the flow, which again was also on sale. Um, so it's alkaline water. It has electrolytes. I've been really struggling to feel hydrated lately. Um, I think part of it's because it's been like swelteringly hot here in Colorado. So I just bought one to taste it um, and try, see if I like it. Um, but yeah, it has like it's pH water. This one's watermelon and lime. Um, and I don't think I'm allergic to anything that's in here. It's spring water, but I'm allergic to certain fruits. So um, there's the flow. Here are the other yogurts. Y'all are gonna literally laugh when I show you the other end of this. Blueberry. Um, this one also was the regular, not no sugar added. Um, so it's like got 15 grams more of sugar on average than the other ones. So that's blueberry flavored. Um, and then the last ones from the Wallaby are, oh my God, I'm super excited for this flavor. Um, this one is strawberry rose. Yum, like doesn't that sound amazing? Strawberry rose yogurt, hello. I would drink that in like a coffee too. Um, so side note, if you're a coffee person and you make your own coffee, strawberry rose sounds amazing. Um, so delicious, so I've got, I showed you the raspberry, the chocolate, um, I got peach because I love peach everything. Here's the other key lime flavor of that one. Um, I've got two of the unsweetened vanilla, which you can't go wrong with vanilla. And the last one I got was strawberry. I only got one flavor of this since I had the two raspberry flavored ones. Um, again, I like that these generally have less sugar. These actually do have it. I usually get like unsweetened, unflavored plain. But I was feeling it. I was like, I'm getting, I've literally got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 16. Is that right? I got a lot of yogurt. Hmm. We're almost done with the grocery haul. <laughs> so I've got bananas per usual to go with said yogurt. Um, I also bought coconut milk. I may be making lemon bars. I didn't actually get the lemons now that I think about it. That's fine. Um, but if I do make them, they're going to be vegan lemon bars. So I've got coconut milk because I'll need that for it. And then I just got a few frozen things. Um, I have, I'm finishing up a protein powder. So it's a strawberry banana flavored one. It's not my favorite. I just want to go back to Shakeology eventually. But I bought some frozen strawberries to go with that as well as some cauliflower florets. So I like these for like lunch or breakfast. Um, this you can't taste in smoothies, but it's a great way to sneak in some veg. Um, and then I got two more bags of frozen veggies as well. Um, one more bag, apparently. Um, broccoli florets, super easy. I have a bunch of cheese left over from the picnic Dan and I went on. Um, so I'll pick up some just eggs, it's like egg, egg replacement or either silk and tofu, but I'm not sure how I would flavor that. I'm gonna do some research. And then I love pancakes. A lot of these are breakfasty. That's good though, because I don't have a lot of breakfast and things are running low. Um, so I got frozen blueberries to put into my pancakes. I was gonna get chocolate chips, <sighs> sigh, but I went with blueberries. I do love blueberries. I'm actually never mad about blueberry pancakes. So chocolate pancakes sometimes is a lot of sugar. Um, but yeah, let me show you what it all looks like here on my counter. All right, everybody, here is what it looks like. Here are the frozen things. Some of the drinks that I got, produce, those pretty flowers right over there. Literally all of the yogurt 
all of it that hopefully should last me like a couple of months honestly <laughs> um, and then there's that for Daniel but yeah here's the haul I did have a $25 gift card um, and then yeah it I'm gonna get I spent fifty six dollars um, and 68 cents so um, and then I got my shopper discount of basically ten dollars so it would have cost somebody else like sixty five dollars roughly um, for all of that which is not bad considering so and I always have rice on hand um, and I have I mean I'm gonna really go protein heavy in the mornings with my breakfast so there's that y'all and of course as always thanks so much for watching um, I'm really excited and love that you know, even just a couple of you guys watch these every week. Um, it's also like great for me. It holds me accountable to make sure that I'm like staying on budget and staying on point. So um, thanks for that. You guys are amazing.